with you today my name is enrique my name is eli and my name is tristan demon slayer season three swordsman village episode 10 um <laughs> one sense review <laughs> my sense is y'all can't help yourself with these damn flashbacks yeah, gosh dang it dude I, I ain't gotta say anything then that's what I, yeah for real I, that's all i was gonna talk about that's some bullshit Bro, like, is what, what that is. What the fuck are we doing? Like, <laughs> it's so dis- it's so disappointing because I never went to the show for fantastic writing, but I did go to it for at least subpar. While then I would stay for the cool characters and then the beautiful art, you know. Right, right. But this season's the story has actually dampened my enjoyment of the series. You the, yeah, the, the, the story really has like. or the backstory has. Story is all encapsulating. You know what? Sure. Well, I'll, I'll just go under that so I don't go as tiny brained. Because, just it's so bad and mediocre. It's not even mediocre. It's, it's bordering on bad at this point. With how many times they're like, okay, people don't give a fuck about this character. How do we make them care? Uh, flashback. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yep. Do it again. Absolutely. Do it again. I'm like, oh god. Imagine if every time in Hunter Hunter, right? Remember when Knuckle and them came about and they raided the castle and oh, you know. Man. Chimera Ant. Imagine we had no background for Knuckle and shooting them. And then when Knuckle and them are getting fucked up in the main room, it cuts, <laughs> and we get the entire flashback of how Knuckle became friends with oh Gon and them. God. And then we cut back, and Knuckle barely survives. I would just be like, this is stupid. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's not good writing, and this is what they're doing. It's, it's not good writing. Out. It's absolutely a cop-out, because you're like, I didn't even introduce these characters. I have nothing. I had nothing to do with them. People don't care about them. How do I make them care? Flashback. And you do a flashback with themes that relate to people, so then you can get the emotional connection, right? Absolutely. So it's like, oh, oh, they're like, oh, it's a flashback about a girl who's an outcast because she's strong, independent, da 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 da, and she oh. tries to conform herself to men so that she can be accepted. And it's like, I get it. That's a great theme. That really <clears throat> is. However, that theme could have been explored prior to the second to last episode of the season for yeah. a character we've only seen for about. 12 minutes of screen time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is a, something you do in the first five episodes, man. It has to be. Because I can't be all excited when she pops up at the end of last episode. And then the start of this episode, I'm like, sweet, it's about to go down. And then it's flashback for seven, eight minutes of a 25-minute episode. I'm like, There's peace. times Change that you can it. get good characters and good character development without flashbacks like you look at most of the characters in this show that we like like Zenitsu like Inosuke like Tengen they didn't have fucking episode flashbacks Tengen had like a little bit well, you like did. Tengen. You were invested in Tengen prior to the flashback yes exactly right that's what I'm saying that's Rengoku did have the flashbacks though he did, but I liked Rengoku before the flashback that's what I'm saying like, I know I know they had him but you were already kind of like oh this dude's cool as fuck but Mitsuri and Muichiro, it's like, I don't care. Uh-huh. You know? It's just like, they're not cool enough as standalones. They're very bland and milk toast. I'm very disappointed with Mitsuri's writing, because I said at the beginning of the season, I hope that they don't just make her the, like, girly girl, you know, who can fight. And that's absolutely what they did, especially with the female uh, author behind Demon Slayer. I thought for sure she would write a stronger character than that, but yeah. here we are. So, I don't know. But the, the flashback was whatever. I thought, like I said, it, the themes are cool. It, it, was, it fine. was fine. Yeah, I just but, don't need it. I, it was basic, and I, I wasn't surprised by anything. And the most interesting part to me was that she's dating Snake Boy. Yeah. I thought she was going to be Rengoku's side piece. But Probably that's was. Just because I'm gassing Rengoku. You, and you are obsessed with side pieces. That's why. You don't like the idea of commitment at all. And cut. So yeah, it's really interesting what happened with all of that. And I really did think that Ren Goku was gonna have a shy ting right there, but then they were like, "Ah, Snake Boy." So I was like, "All right, that's an interesting pair." You got the emo Snake Boy and the big popular pink hair girl. It's a, uh, it's different to say the least. It's different but the same, you know, because media loves to do the odd pairing gimmick. Oh yeah. And yeah, that was fun, I guess. But you know, we got to the real point of this episode. They're fighting the damn dragon. Material was banging the dragon up easily, yeah, but I was like, easy. I was confused because like, if she could easily bang up upper four, 
how the fuck did Rengoku struggle with three? Like, yeah. just, I'm, I don't understand at this point. Or how did Tengen struggle against six? The, the the power level, again, writing, power leveling here doesn't make no sense, you know? No, not at all. I guess they're saying Rengoku, or Tengen's one of the weakest Tashira, is that what they're trying to imply? I That's guess. what I said, I like, guess. two episodes ago, but, you know. I didn't want to believe it. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. That's what I tried to tell you. But then it also the question, if they can bang up number four like this, how the fuck has number four collected so many bodies? They're, yeah, I don't each know. of them just... have said, like, I've killed, like, four Hashira. It's like, is this the strongest generation of Hashira? Is that what we're going to say? We're going to pull one of those? <laughs> I guess. I mean, you got to uh, kind of assume that there's some evolution with the Hashiras, too. Why do I have to assume everything? Why can't the story, you know, write or anything? Because they're bad at writing. I don't know what to tell you about that. Also, they gave us a half a half episode flashback for Mitsuri. However, they gave us one sentence for the thing I'm really interested in, which is Genya said, whenever I eat demons, I get yeah. a demon power up. And no. I said, wait, what? And they just moved on. That's what I think, too. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Bro, I was like, wait, no one's going to talk about this dude's eating demons? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. This dude's getting it back in blood legit. He's like, all right, you're going to eat my people. I got yours, too. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> It's just like, no, nope, we're not going to talk about it. And you might get lucky if we talk about it in episode 11. If not, we're just going to move on because I was doing a cool power-up thing. I'm not going to explain it. That's what's funny, dude, is like Genya's been just on the side the entire time with this story that actually would, you know, make a lot of sense if they explained, like, how he's getting these power-ups and, like, why, you know, he's acting the way he is. And yet he's just on the side looking demonic for seven episodes now. And we're, like, supposed to just be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense without any, you know, story behind it. Now it's just the random throw-in of, oh, yeah, I eat demons, by the way. Four episodes we got of the swordsmith dude crafting Tanjiro's sword, which he's not going to get this season. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Not once did they explain where he got a gun from, who made him the gun, right. how he got it, the blueprints for the gun, nothing, just I have a gun. Okay, now they're like, I eat demons too. This dude, they're <laughs> high key. He's one of the most interesting characters, and they're just like, mm, I'm not interested in developing uh, him at all. I don't think so. <laughs> I can't wait till we get his third flashback too, because we already got one. It's like, oh, you don't want to hear about the demon he eats or the gun. You want to see a flashback about him and his brother? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I don't. No I've seen seven brother flashbacks. Please stop. We're going on the fourth flashback of the season. I swear to God, if there's a flashback, if they tried to do what they did in last season, right? And they try to tell you the backstory for up emotional four. appeal, yeah. Of yeah, oh, you know, um, I was always outcast and nobody, you know, nobody liked me. I always told the truth. Well, they, <laughs> this they is they my tried story. To do a little bit of that. They did. Upper yeah. Six got away with it because Upper Six had a really, really good written. It was backstory. cool. It was very cool. Yeah. They can't do it. now that you've you've exhausted the flashback cheese. You get four, three or four a a, a season, a series. That's you've already that's blown a lot. like seven. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gone. The juice is gone. You can't do it no more. Somebody's gonna be mad no matter what happens in the flashback. So it is what it is. But they're about to smoke on upper four, and it was pretty easy to be honest. And I guess she just wanted to be loved was her whole gimmick, and that's why she's the love Hashira because she gives out love and she wants to be loved. And Tanjiro, right. then we gotta protect her, and they're like, "Oh my god, she they love me." And I'm like, okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, disappointed with the season overall writing wise there's been no super cool animation like there's been no episode 10 this season no nah, there's no episode really. 10 no episode 19 this 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 go around and it's just upsetting unless they pull out some mythical cheese the closest thing we got was when tanjiro pulled out the blood sword the first time yeah this season. that was sweet but other than that it's just been it should been i i agree I, I don't know man i'm just not super invested I have to do a lot to win me back it's not happening this season I tell you what oh obviously not it's fucking over it's one episode left and I'm saying next season they're gonna have to win me back in the first couple yeah but we'll I was excited and they there. killed all my they killed all their momentum this season it's impressive how they did it yeah it's very impressive <laughs> yes sir any more comments questions concerns for Demon Slayer episode 10 oh lots of concerns but I'll <laughs> save those all right. 
thanks for hanging out with us today. We had a great time. It was all fun and all that. Yeah, we got Twitter uh, at B I N G B O I S S B I N G B O I S S Twitter. We got Instagram. We got a D A B. Yeah, that's right. That's Instagram. It's the same ad. TikTok too. We got TikTok. What TikTok? All right. Yes. Thanks, man. Thanks for hanging out with us. This is great. This is my audition tape for being an auctioneer. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Why don't you? Eli. <laughs> Tristan. And I want you to remember uh, make a case for a piece of shit. Make a case for